Good day. We are getting to that time of the year that we're starting to think about what we're going to be doing to close out 2020. Truly, we are all wishing it was over today, but we are thinking about, well, how can we put a good closure to it? To be hopeful rather than, how shall we say, hopeless. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to give you some ideas of what you can do to make this a hopeful time. The first thing is something that you may not even think about, but it is important. And that is, a few weeks ago, we asked you to bring in gently used shoes for the charity Souls for Souls. In this week's bulletin, we'll give you the update as to exactly how many shoes were uh, donated from our parish, as well as other locations. This young lady, who is now a senior in high school, has really been doing this project for three years and is really committed to it. But that's only one thing we can do to help others. Another is something we don't think about. And that is those who serve our country, the military who go and are either here in the United States or overseas. They do have a lot going, but they also have downtime. And it's in that downtime that they can possibly just need a little distraction. Now, I'll bet you if you looked in your house, you probably would find a lot of books that you have read and that are gathering dust or books that you've enjoyed and you've said to yourself, I'm going to go and share this with somebody. Well, here's that opportunity. There is a charity, there are actually two charities. One is called OperationPaperback.org. That's Operation Paperback. Dot org. The other is booksforsoldiers.com. That's books for soldiers, one word, dot com. You get onto these two websites and they will go and tell you who you can mail these books to, and they will be given to young men and women who lead a little distraction. And believe me, if there's a better way of utilizing those books, it's this. Because I can't think of any other way. Because this way you know they're going to be appreciated and you know that they're going to give a little bit of downtime to people who really need that. That's my suggestion for this week as to how you can help others concretely. There's another way you could help others as well, and that doesn't mean going and cleaning out your closet. It doesn't mean going and trying to make a donation. This is a little bit different. I ask you this week to be a person of positivity, a person of strength, a person of hope. I was listening to one of the commentators the past few days, and they kept on saying that what we need at this time of COVID is positivity. We have so much negativity that's thrown at us, so much negativity about being in the situation that we're in, that we start to feel the same way, down, depressed, uncomfortable. And that causes us to be sometimes not the type of person that we really would like to be. I'm encouraging you this week to make a concerted effort to be positive and hopeful. To not look at the gloom and doom of things, but at the things that give life, give 
hope gives strength. This is what will keep ourselves alive, especially as we continue through this pandemic. There is so much going on in our world right now that can just make us want to scream. How many times have you gone and said, I want this mask off? But if we can just be hopeful and positive for a day, two days, a week, we can make that change within ourselves and hopefully by doing that in others. The final thing that I have for you this week is a little notice in advance. In two weeks, we're going to have available something very special. We're going to have available Deacon Chuck's Advent book. Look at this. An Advent book. It's not going to be the size. This is the sample. So we can sell them. We have a number of them on on hand right here. We will be selling them after Mass, and we'll be selling them in the office. They are $2 a, a copy. They do go and give you a good connection during the season of Advent. And I encourage you that if you want something to just center yourself over those weeks preparing for Christmas, this is a wonderful item. Think about it. Watch. In a few weeks you'll have them. We look for this little advertisement, and that's where the books will be. I thank you for always listening, always being a part of this, and know that anytime you listen, you are going and helping somebody else be uplifted, because you're going to take what you hear, and you're going to share it. So keep on doing that. Be positive, be hopeful, and have a wonderful week.